Hey guys, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to be a god at this game from being able to run Mach 10 or bolt up walls. Anything you want. Whoa. How am I moving? Anyways, uh, let's get right into it. But before we do, please subscribe. I really want to hit a uh, hundred subscribers. We have 35 more to go. So if you could, I would truly appreciate it. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you how to run fast. I'm doing this all in forest, but most of this is pretty universal, except like my tips on branching and stuff. Um, but most of this will be very universal. So, yeah. So when you run, you wanna try and stay parallel to the ground. Cause most people, they'll do this or this. And you wanna go one hand at a time parallel to the ground. So instead of hitting down, you want to pull forward almost. Like that. And then eventually, you can run fast. And then there's this thing called the funny run, where you take your fingers, and you roll them really fast. And then you can run fast. I do a mix of both of these. Um, kind of. But both very helpful. Alright, pinch climbing. So, you want to grab on... I like to pull towards the pole and up. So like, whoosh, towards the pole and up, and then grab back on. Towards it, up. Towards it, up. And then I would recommend practicing on the walls. Um, but if you're really new to VR, it might be a little scary. So um, just be ready for that. Next up is double walls. So you wanna hit up and to the side. So like that, because you don't just want to hit to the side, but also you don't just want to hit up. You want to hit up and to the side. And then I like to get a little flick of the wrist, makes it go a little faster, and boom, you're up here. But um, you can do this with multiple hands. Go one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Right, you can do all that stuff. But that's a lot more advanced. That takes some time, but if you just hit down and then off, right, down, off, down, off, that might not take too long. All right, so this one is again at the double walls. It's called elevator climbing. This is way faster, and it'll probably hit, help you a ton. So you're gonna stick your arm out and hit it through. And now, I'm not going to do it yet, but you would flick your wrist like this. I like to hold my controller a little lower down, so I can get a little further from the side to the pole. And then, you should just be able to hit it like that. And boom. It's way faster than pinch climbing and stuff, but it is kind of difficult. So, just beware that it will take some time. All right, now I'm gonna teach you some of the best jukes. They're very well known, but they're both really good. So the slide juke, you wanna shove your hand out and you would jump and then you you want your hand to hit the slide kind of here and then you wanna go through there. So you would jump, grab on, and then fling yourself in a different direction. So it'd be like, Right, um, but if you're being chased, don't run in a straight line. Hit off of like anything you see. Uh, it makes it, you a lot more unpredictable and uh, it'll help you a lot. The second juke is over here. This is like the best place to do it. You wanna jump, grab on and turn in real life and fling yourself in a different direction. So just this is probably the easiest juke. So you wanna jump on, like if you're pinch climbing, and then turn in real life, and throw yourself off. Some people can do this with one arm, where they just I'm not very good at one arm, but it's the same concept. You jump, get your arm there, and fling yourself in a different direction. Now, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on branching and show you guys my top two routes. 
So when you're practicing branching, a good spot to practice it is probably over here because there's so many branches to go to and it's super easy to start here. You can go here, whatever. But it just, it doesn't, it just takes time. You can, but when you're doing it, always be moving. Don't like, boom, wait a second. Just always be moving when you're practicing and um and then also when you're practicing just look where you want to go and just look at the options this kind of is universal um there's a lava monkey right so there you go now for my top two routes the first one is over here you want to jump up get on this branch hit up to this branch hit back onto this branch and now you're up at platforms this is really easy and fast if you do it right this is really good if you do it right because look just get onto here boom boom and then you're up there but also there's somebody up there already Go this way. Oh, there's somebody that way. Oh, jump them. Whatever, I was walking on my boundary. But you get the point. And my second one is back over at the double walls. So on this tree, you want to jump up to this branch. And then you want to jump, hit onto this branch, and then on this branch. And you're going to do something kind of technical. You're going to jump and wrap your arm around and fling yourself and then you can do it again. Whoa, why did that lag so much? He's for me. But super easy. And this is super effective. What the hell? But I'm gonna show you the route again. So you wanna jump up onto here, right? Oops. And then you wanna hit onto here and then hit onto here, right? So that's the start of the route. Pretty easy, just, it's like simple branching, just one, two. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. You jump and wrap your arm, and then you wall bounce, and then jump and wrap your arm again. It's pretty tr tricky, but um, pretty, pretty cool as well, and super effective. Because I've juked the crap out of some people just by doing that simple route, just like, and you can just do this anytime. Like, oh no, do a little here, here. Yeah, I'm recording a video. So yeah, that's that's basically it. It's pretty simple. And, uh, it's super effective, at least for me, it has been. Um, so, yeah. I'm out. Anyways, so, wall climbing. It's similar to wall bouncing. It's a lot sim more similar than most people think, um, except it's slanted. And, but you're still jumping from wall to wall, right? You're just going wall to wall, wall to wall, wall to wall, and, <laughs> So J-Man says it like you're skiing, right? Right, but it's pretty easy. You just want to jump to the other wall while it's hitting up. So it's the same concept as wall bouncing, but uh, better. All right, so wall running is hard, right? 
you want to hit straight down straight down and then forward you don't want to like hit slanted like this because first off you're probably not going to hit it and second off uh you're gonna get stuck so here we are so this is actually where i learned how to do it eric 1515 uh he had a tutorial um but he hasn't posted in like six months um <clears throat> so just hit straight down starting here on your right hand just going one two one two straight down and forward um but you will fall sometimes and just little little tiny jumps and then when you get to this big wall you can do like big jumps like whew, whew. and skip this wall right here um skip it unless you think you really have the hang of it but this is like this is really hard this is like almost parallel in some parts it is but and then so you're gonna keep going once you get here you're gonna jump over here and then keep doing the thing just one straight down 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 and then once you get back here try it again do your dominant side so if your dominant side is right you want a big jump to where it's slanted and just straight down straight down straight down straight down straight down okay and then turn around straight down straight down straight down boom 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 and then that's basically all you have to do to practice wall running it does take a while though that's all for today's video i hope you guys learned something and um please subscribe trying to hit us 100 subs see you guys